sneaky slinky looks are back. Back in the house. Back in the house. Sneaky looks is back. For tonight. Okay. No more life. No more life. Not for a little while. Though. It's just too much. Got too much to do. Okay. What distribution do you think we're in tonight? I mean, it's got a spider in it. A little spitty. Ooh. So, Tux is the name. And Tux by nature. That's the password. If you haven't changed them, by the way. Today, we're in slight as. Okay. The rolling release version, okay? Or Slight as Cooking as released in July, okay? So that's super duper. Looks okay. Now, the basic download is 43 megabits, okay? Or megabytes, however you want to say it, in which country you come from. And it comes with quite a lot of standard, although I've been playing around with it. And, to be honest with you, you can actually install an awful lot of stuff, okay? So, basic, basic desktop, okay? Bit of open box going down here and a bit of something else. What do you reckon it is? Okay. The basic browser is Midori. Okay. That won't suit everybody. Okay. You can get other browsers if you try. Some you may have to compile yourself. Mm. It's one of those things you might have to put a work in, bit of work into if you really want to. So I done Tiny Cold the other night, didn't I? And that's like really hard work. Yeah. That's like working from the bones. This one gives you a little bit more. And it gives you a desktop and stuff, and you can add bits as you go along. And it will run fine on really little memory, okay? I've had about 51 meg to start with, and until you start using different programs, of course. So on a desktop, you don't get Midori. I've added that, okay? But it's already installed in the ISO, so don't worry about it. It's already there for you. You can just can connect. It's no big deal. You get trash, documents, and documentation, okay? Applications is up here on the left-hand side. I'm going to quickly go through with you, and then I'm going to do some stuff, okay? So, we've got accessories. Burn CD, DVD. Sounds right to me. Shall I open it and see what happens? Hmm. Burn box. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, burn box. That's fine by me. Close that. Next we have... Ooh, under there we have... Galculator, of course. Grab a screenshot. Leaf pad. Nano. SSH, of course, if you want to do SSH stuff. Spreadsheet stuff. Now, what spreadsheet stuff is that? Is that the one I installed? Let's have a look. Oh, this is why. Okay, I installed Genomeric, okay? And I wondered why it wasn't in to start with. But it's got its own one. The Kiss Wiki. Calc. Okay. We Kiss. We Kiss. That's W-I. We Kiss. Okay. Okay. Quite good. It's all quite there before we even go, isn't it, really? Uh, a time, a VNC viewer, so you can log into your Pi or stuff like that, and wiki documents. Under development, the Beaver Co. kit, okay, there's plenty here for your fault, your megs, isn't there? Really, to be honest with you. And yes, it's in full 1080p, yeah, installed, no problem. Bucket bit repositories, I'll go into that another time, I think, because I haven't really played with it that long. I've been playing for the past, ooh, six hours. A CGI shell environment, dialogue example. An icon browser, inspect your GTK icon themes. Okay, a slide has bug reporter and Vi. So you get quite a bit in there, really, don't you? Documentation, cook utilities. Okay, let's have a look at that. Slide has cook and cooker. Okay, blah 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 or well, play with it in a box, actually. It runs fine in a box. Yeah. Be fine, super duper for you. We get this old thing up here where the box lags in the workspaces. But I can do that if you can. Okay. You get the Taz package manual and the Taz Lodge manual. Under games, you get Nano Chess and Sudoku. So we'll put up Sudoku. Yeah, it's basic Sudoku. Sneaky wife would love it if she'd like to use a computer now. But being a consumer, she only uses a tablet now. She's got no need for a computer, really. If you want a computer, come use this one. No big deal. Under graphics, G Color, an image viewer, an MT Paint. Is it the same one? Yes, the same one. Basic MT Paint, so you can do your painting and stuff and do stuff. Okay. Under internet, right, I've installed Firefox. Okay, so that's good. Midori is installed by default. And a Twitter micro plugin. I'm not sure where I installed that from, but hey. You also get a Taz IRC client and a Taz web browser. Under multimedia, you get well, you don't actually get most of this because I installed it to get some audio through VirtualBox. Pain. If you install it on Real Machine, it works out of the box. Trust me, it does. Okay, and just Pulse works. Okay, 
unlike Tiny Core sometimes, which doesn't want to work too much really. Sometimes it doesn't really like it. But anyway, I've installed them all here, and I've also installed GTK Record My Desktop. If you want other screen recorders or video recorders, you're going to have to compile them yourself from the main time as it is. Okay. So yeah. So GTK Record My Desktop is your only one for now, but it will do the job if that's what you really want to do. I've installed VLC Media Player just to make sure it works and play me DVDs, and it does out of the box. But Gemando is a standard. It comes out of it. It's in the ISO. Yeah, okay. Under Office, you don't get Abbey Word. No, you don't. I tried to install the full LibreOffice suite and get LibreOffice, and it had a hiccup. But this is the rolling release, so if I, I may log on tomorrow, and it might work. So, yeah. Half dozen one, six the other, isn't it, really? But Abbey Word does work. Nice and quick, as you just see. Super fast, super fast. So if you want a really, really fast system, and you're a distro hopper, and you not really chose which low-end distro to go to for your old machine, might give this one a try. Might be an idea, might it? Anyway, encrypted pastel. G Numeric is now in office. It weren't just a minute ago. Okay, so that's moved itself. G Numeric is what I installed. Okay, so you've got your basic spreadsheet editor that you're used to. So it looks a bit like MS stuff, so you'll be used to it, no problem. We'll close it down. You can change these names up here. I've just done it to show you on the video, really. But yes, you can put your own names and everything in. Uh, default is tux tux, and then the default root is root root. And then you just change them as you go. Okay. Under preferences, right, this is where we get a lot of stuff. Account password, appearance in GTK, desktop preferences even. Monitor settings, yeah, I'm big, 1080p, no deal. Yeah, you know what. Package Manager. Should we have a look? Let's see what happens. My username. Ah, right. I've actually not been in this one before. So my username would be... Root, root, is it? I guess the next one. Root. It just comes up with the same stuff I did before. Okay. But I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. Okay, we'll go out there. Okay. See, I've updated it a couple of times just today, and things have changed. Okay. We'll go down, pop up notifications. Yeah, they're all here. Shell for your profile, change your language, time, etc., etc., etc. Under science, I don't know why Junior America is in there, but it just got put in there. But it is a bit sciencey, isn't it? Science. We love science, don't we? Under system tools, we can. Boot our view. Oh, excuse, sorry me. View our boot log. Create a live CD. Create a live USB. PC man file manager. G parted is here. H top as well. Alex log out. A Sakura for a terminal. Okay, yeah, it's all okay. Works all hunky dory. No problem. See how fast it is. Yeah, it is quite fast, isn't it? Really. System documentation. A task manager. We'll go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm using 60 megabytes at the moment. 60 megabytes. We're going like back 10 years when 60 megabyte was, you know, I'm getting nearly a quarter, nearly a half million RAM now. Maybe I have to go to a different system. Yeah, you know where I'm coming from? Yeah, of course you do. We'll quit that. Uh, no, I'll get rid of that as well. Anyway, back to the system tools. This will get its term etc on the top so how do you install stuff well i'll show you okay so if we go down here go to system tools go down to installer it wants my root password which default is root and i've not changed it yet but i will do tomorrow so root and here we go so from here you can actually install it to your hard drive or a usb device it's up to you okay i've installed it to a usb device i'm going to try it tomorrow but this one's in the box okay just so you know. So, go to Packages. It's all in the same place. That's what my packages will be doing. So, here we go. And we've changed that to All Packages. Now, I can't think of something I want to install. Which is a bit of a pain, really. But if I just scroll down. Basically, the blue ones are the ones you haven't got. And the green ones are the ones you have got. So, I'll go back up. Oh, by the way, once you do install it, your mouse wheel will work. Mm, doesn't work out of the box. Oh, it's a bit of a bummer. But hey, 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 ho. So, ooh, oh, apparently I've got a sunder. So that disk burner was maybe a sunder, 
or is that just a screen? Ah, no, I know it's coming from. Okay, we're just gonna go. Oh, audacious. We'll try. No, we'll try audacity. That'd be better, wouldn't it? So we'll click audacity. And I'm going to scroll back up. And we want to install that. And it looks for stuff for us. It's got three missing packages, which it goes and fetches, like all Linux stuff does. Yeah, because that's why we use Linux. It does it all for us. We don't have to go looking for stuff. It's in the repositories. So is it finished yet? No, it's not finished. Ooh. No, it's done. It is done, okay? That's how quick it is. Applications, we'll go to multimedia. Audacity is there. Oh my god. Click OK there. Ooh. Wasn't expecting that to do that again. Audacity. It doesn't like it, does it? Ooh. Now that's why I like to try out these distros. I've also got the sound stuff pointing in the wrong direction. So if I go to Asunder, can I go back to multimedia? I didn't realise I installed it, actually. Oh, Asunder works, no problem. Okay, out of the box. Now, to get audio working in the box, you're going to have to do a bit of um, tinkering. Uh, my wife was watching a program earlier for about an hour and a half, and it took me that hour and a half to get it to work. Okay. Which is a bit of a pain. But that's only in the box. On a lappy, it will work straight out of the box. But if you want to give this stuff a bit of a go, it's entirely up to you. You know, it's 40 megabytes down at door, 43, something like that. It's not big, not, you know, it's no big deal. And you might want to use it. You might have some stuff lying around that might be still usable. Give it a go. Or put it on your most current machine and see how fast it is. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.